Okay, everyone, welcome. This is PYT Heritage, number four at Lightning Breaks. Thanks for joining us. We're going to get started by giving away a free team. That team tonight is the Mets. So here we go. Oh, Joe, thanks. Yes, much better. Um, the night I did the break, that night I had like 101. I actually woke up in the middle of the night in a sweat with 101. And by the next day, I was fine. My arm's still a little sore, but otherwise, I'm, I'm good. But that that night was pretty rough. Thanks for asking, though. Appreciate it. Uh, hey, Larry, welcome. Good luck. Um, Larry's got the Dodgers, so good luck with the Dodgers. Um, all right, here we go. Giving the Mets away. Let's get started. So I got my pair of casino dice here. We're going to give it a roll. We got an eight. So we're going to... There's the eight. So we're going to randomize, we're going to um, mix up, randomize the list eight times. Whoever's on top after time number eight will be the lucky winner of the Mets. So let's bring up the randomizer. Okay, you can see we've got the randomizer here. We've got Michael on top because Michael's got the Angels all the way down to Nicholas on bottom. Nicholas has got the Yankees. There's a total of 29 entries here. Um, and you have an entry for every team you bought. So Michael, for example, has eight teams. He has eight entries. I believe that, uh, well, let me think of, I can think of somebody else who's here. Joe has, I think, five or six? Maybe six, five, five, I don't know. Five or six. Joe, you can remind me. But he has five or six teams, so that's the number of entries he has. Um, and uh, that's basically how it works. So we're going to randomize this list eight times, and whoever's on top after time number eight is the lucky winner of the Mets. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. After seven times, Michael's on top, and here we go, time number eight. Good luck, everyone. Eight. It's Jennifer B., which is Joe. I copied this before. I changed your name, Joe. So congrats, Joe. You are the winner um, of the Mets. Take this off. All right, there we go. All set. Let's get ripping. Put this on the chat. You got it, Joe. Good luck with my Mets. They could sure use the luck. Didn't look very good last night. And then lost their starting pitcher today when uh, they decided to go a third of an inning and then call the game. Marcus Stroman was not happy, to say the least. All right, guys, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to let you guys choose four boxes. So as soon as I open this case and flip it over. One, you got it, Jamie. You guys pick the boxes. You're you're the uh, you guys run the run the show. I'll take box one for you though. Anybody else want to have a lucky number? Want to pick a box? Jamie started us off with box one, and I I messed up the camera there. There we go. All right, there's your 12 boxes. I agree, pick the hot box. Okay, man. One, and we got five, so two boxes on top. Okay, Tom, you want four, you got it. One more. Andrew, you got it, eight. All right, we've got our four boxes, guys. The other eight boxes. If we don't hit the hot boxes tonight, they're going Tuesday and Thursday night eBay, 
auctions Tuesday night and Thursday night. So be sure to check those out. And as I mentioned earlier, Tuesday night the Cubs are random, Wednesday night the, the Reds are random. All right, as I start opening, I am going to go through our rules for Heritage, which are a little bit different when it comes to multiplayer cards. So those of you that have heard this already or have been in one of my previous breaks, sorry to repeat the spiel, but i got to do it for the people that are new. So if there's a multiplayer card, 2, 3, 4, and 8, which there are, if it is a hit of some sort, a parallel of some sort, then that will be randomed off individually. However, if it is just a regular card, 2, 3, 4, or 8 player card, we will split it evenly. So for example, if there are Reds and um, Pirates on one card, which there is on the Cabrian Hayes card, if there's two, we hit two of them, um, that'll be split evenly. If there's an odd number left at the end, at the end of this break, I will do auction, I, I do randoms for two, three, four, and eight player cards. If there's an odd number, and it will go to, let's say, you know, whoever that random goes to. Um, also, at the end of the break, I will random off non-player cards. So there are a bunch of non-player cards here, like the award cards or the um, highlights, the 70, you know, from 72, the flashbacks. Those will be randomed off to one lucky owner. Here is our first top loader, Ralph Gar for the Braves. It is a buyback, and that will go to the Braves, and that is Michael. Nice start there with the buyback. Ralph Gar um, played it back and forth with the Braves up and down in the Myers according to the back of this card any questions on the multiplayer cards if you want to stick around because it's real exciting the randoms at the end I'm saying that sarcastically but if you want to stick around you can stick around and see what, exactly what I mean but Basically, what it means is that we split the player cards as evenly as we possibly can, unless it's a hit or some sort of parallel. Um, then we, um, you know, random that off individually. If that made sense. Uh, in terms of, if you haven't broken with me before, um, in terms of speed uh, of shipping. All cards ship. I try to ship as soon as possible. Some of you who may have been in break one may have PYT number one from last week may have already received your cards. Um, I top load all hits. I top load key rookies. If you know, as I go through the cards, I will highlight what a key rookie is or who a key rookie is. Um, and I top load um, all parallels and numbered cards. I will sleeve all rookies and I will sleeve all. High number short prints, which I will not search for during this break, um, because th then this break will take two hours instead of one. But I guarantee you, when I sort, I will look through them and I will sleeve the high number short prints. Um, and I, like I said, I will sleeve all rookies. Um, I think that pretty much does it for sleeve and top loading. Um, any questions? Let me know. Like most of you have been in my breaks and know that. Uh, I take pretty good care in packaging it and protecting your cards. All right, let's go through the. F I'm not going to go through every player. I'm just going to quickly go through the commons. Um, you know, a as we go, I will I will highlight the rookies as we go, and again, I will highlight those that I consider key rookies. Um, all right, let's get started. Good luck, everyone. Oh, and. Unfortunately, it looks like our first box, they've decided to turn them on me, which is always fun. There's our first key rookie that will be top loaded, that's Joe Adele. Otani in action. I have him on my fantasy team, but we have an interesting, uh, interesting way of going about it. In uh, no, no flip stocks in the first case, Tom. Um, we have an interesting way of going about it in um, 
in my fantasy league, you can either use a, there's only one Otani, and you can either use him as a hitter or a pitcher, but not both. So so far, there's a nice new age performers, the Sixto Sanchez. So far, I've been exclusively using him as a hitter, but every week I have to decide whether I'm going to use him as a hitter or a pitcher, which is interesting. But considering right now he has a blister, there's a nice Sixto Sanchez in action. I've been um, just using him as... Uh, there's Dylan Carlson. He's a key rookie that I will top load. So in terms of the variations, Tom, in the first case, we had a bunch of black borders. Um, we had several um, action variations, including one Cabrian Hayes action variation, which I checked on eBay after we hit it, and it's going for around... 40 to 50 bucks around here or there. So that was a nice hit. Um, you know, we had a couple chromes. Um, we had a couple of the co name color variations, the team name, which is new. Um, that was pretty much it. There's a Blue Jays, Pearson and Hatch. Last year when we did, um, actually when we did, was it Meyer League Heritage? We hit a couple of flip stocks. And actually a hit, that was one of the first one-on-ones I hit as a breaker. Was a Joe Adele one-of-one one in Meyer League Heritage. It was a piece of his, like a really nice, I think four-color piece of his uniform. There's a Spencer Howard. Mets rookies, Sanchez and Kiwome. So this is a non-player card, as an example. These will all be uh, randomed off to one lucky entrant at the end. Uh, we have Mountcastle and Dalbeck, so this will be top-loaded, Mountcastle. And Dalbeck. There's a Mountcastle as a kid. Yeah, but Adele has, you know, I, I think they're doing the right thing by him. They're not rushing him. Even now, um, uh, sorry, uh, we got Hauk and Huff rookies. Um, even now with uh, Fowler, who just went down just towards ACL, I don't think they're even considering bringing him up yet, which I think is the right thing. You know, they're, they're, they're developing him slowly. Listen, if you're an Angels fan or you follow the Angels, you know it's... it's they're not want for hitting. They're doing fine in that department. It, it, it's, you know, when you have Trout, Rendon, and Otani in your lineup, it's, it's not the hitting you're concerned with. Yeah, I've hit a couple, a few other one-on-ones since then. I hit a out of, this one with, uh, I forget which set it was, but I hit a Sal Perez one-on-one, which, you know, whatever, is not anything to write home about, but it's still a one-on-one. -on -one. can't remember which set that was. I want to say it was Bowman Chrome. I don't remember exactly. The autos we hit out of the first case, if you guys are curious, what's going on with my focus here? Uh, there we go. Um, if you guys are curious, the autos we hit out of case number one, there's a nice Soto in action, were um, Madrigal, uh, Davy Garcia, and Reese Hoskins. Those were the three autos we hit. Garcia and Pache, this will be top loaded. And then we hit a really nice double relic, which I thought was really cool, of Bellinger. There is Bellinger. Bellinger and um, uh, Kershaw, which is a pretty cool card.
there's a Clemente insert. Nate Pearson rookie in action. And I cut on an action variation. Well, the last case was a Phillies case, and uh, we're starting off in the same direction here. Bryce Harper, action variation. Nice hit there for the Phillies. Phillies are going to Michael. And like I said, all variations and numbered cards will be top loaded. Nice hit there, Michael. Okay, let's keep going. Get the focus going again. Come on, focus. There we go. There's a nice Cabrian Hayes in action. That'll be top loaded. There's a Juan Soto. The then and now of Fergie Jenkins and Hugh Darvish for the Cubs. And we're through stack two. And we've got one more stack with our hit in it. So I don't know if you guys collect Bowman also, but um, they announced that Bowman is a little bit delayed. It's now coming out on the 28th. So after the breaks this week, we have a couple of weeks. If you guys have any product that you would like to see broken and it's reasonable, um, feel free to let me know here or drop me a line at info at lightningbreaks.com. Obviously I wanna break what you guys wanna see, so until that big release comes out, if there's any other product that you're interested in or want to see, let me know. And guys, I don't think I saw a relic in here. Nope, I think our first box is going to be an auto box. So that's always nice. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. You guys picked the... Uh, Whoever picked uh, that box picked a good one. Here we have Rockies rookies. Spencer Howard in action. There's Alec Bohm in action for the Phillies. Rookie stars for the Marlins, Sanchez and Sanchez. Tigers rookies. There's a flashbacks of Willie Mays on the Mets. So that will go to the Mets, the random team. What did I say about Phillies? I'm telling you, our first case, Phillies crazy, and Michael, you hit the jackpot here. Congrats. Big, big hit.
They were looking for this in case one, and it's in the first box of case two. Big hit. Mr. Bohm. It's, as they say, a Bohm bomb. There you go, Michael. Sweet. Nice signature. On card. Big hit. Congrats. Well, the Phillies trend is continuing in these in, in my cases. <laughs> okay, we've got Royals, Singer and Heath. Uh, Dodgers rookies. Here's Bichette. Uh, it could be. It was the last box I pulled. Yeah, I guess then it's box eight. You're right. Nice, nice, nice choice there, Andrew. All right, let's keep going. Uh, cards rookies. You got it, Michael. That's that's a pretty good start. Uh, Luis Robert in action. We have a Chrome here, and it's going to the Cubs. Kyle Hendricks. Cubs are going to Tyler M. U. Well, we have two Tylers, one M. C. and one M. U. So this one's going to Tyler M. U. I had to put the second uh, second initial there. Number to five seventy two, seventy one of five seventy two. Congrats, Cubs and Tyler. There's a Kyle Hendricks. And behind that is a nice New Age Performers of Mountcastle for the O's and for Michael. And the last couple cards, Harlan Garcia, Jacob deGrom, and we are through. A pretty nice first box, I should say. All right, just give me one second. I gotta open up a new package of sleeves. There we go. All right, here we go. I think this was box five, maybe? I don't remember. I think it was box five. All right, and we start off with a nice uh, top loader for the Blue Jays. I believe the Blue Jays are also going to Michael. Got one of these oversized top loaders of Bo Bichette, who had five RBIs last night. Nice one there. And let's move on to the box. Empty box. So I know the last break we were talking about supplies. I just put in an order of new supplies, and the earliest they can ship it. Top loaders, I shouldn't say all supplies, top loaders. The earliest they said they could ship is March, is May 10th. Just to give you an idea of how backed up and how hard it is to find supplies right now. It's really ridiculous. And of course, with demand comes a hike in price too. So I guess that's the whole industry as a whole, but even supplies right now are a little nuts. So if you have a local card shop or somewhere that you get your supplies, go get them. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is, Joe. It's really crazy. All the, like, 
my distributors don't have any and then I went to some other supply sites they didn't have any and then I finally found one that had some but that you know they're 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 taking orders now for May and then when I went back to this was Saturday and then when I went back today to look they were sold out of even the May one so there's a pretty big demand right now Good luck in box two, everybody. Got Yankees rookies. Uh, Adele and Madrigal. This will be top loaded. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know about gouging, but they're definitely more expensive on eBay. Um, you, you know, there's a lot of them on eBay. You just have to be careful about, you know, honestly, if it was up to me, if they're charging shipping or even ex exorbitant price, I would really, if you have a local card shop, I would just go there. There's Roberta Flack, a, uh, flashbacks, non-teen card. Um, you know, I would go that route just because they're heavy, you know, shipping, unless, you know, it, I'm ordering in bulk because I'm a breaker, but if you don't need them in bulk, if you don't need... 2,000 uh, 2, top loaders, then uh, you know, or more. There's a Marlins rookies. Then I would just, you know, go that route because the shipping is not going to be cheap either. It's really mostly the top loaders. The sleeves are a little easier to find. There's a Cronenworth rookie. and Scooble, that'll be top loaded. There's Eloy in action. Um, we've got Bart, Varsho, and Jeffers, that'll be top loaded. Bart. And Garcia, Anderson, and, and Javier. Mount Castle in action, the O's. And there's Bowman Howard. So both of those will be top loaded. And Polanco Pineda Gallo that caps off the first stack here. Didn't hit any parallels in that first stack. Usually that left stack doesn't have much. It's usually the other two that are more loaded. Five packs of sleeves. Yeah, I I, I totally I I think that's the right thing to do to be honest. Although, like I said, it's really more, from what I've seen, it's really more the top loaders than the sleeves. But again, I, I would agree with that if, if they think that that's what's happening. I mean, you guys already know what's going on with the cards at uh, your Targets and Walmarts and whatnot, so it's gone to the supplies now, I guess. Do stack two. Take a little less there. All right, focus is good. There's a Brady Singer rookie. Okay, Anthony Rizzo. This is a team color, I think, variation. Yes. So we had one of these in the last break with McCutcheon on the Phillies. This one is for the Cubs, and that yellow and green you see up there, that's that's the, um, pa the, the alternate. Those are not the same um, colors. They're reversed than the normal Cubs card. 
I pick up another Cubs card, I'll show you. We had a couple of McCutcheons in the first case like this. But this is going to the Cubs and Tyler M.U. So a couple of Cubs variations so far. And Judge in action. Yachty in action. Alright, so here's the actual Anthony Rizzo card, so I'll just do this quickly so you guys can see the difference. You see how the B on the Cubs, this is the normal card here, is yellow, and here it's green. So they reverse the colors. That's the variation. That's a new variation. They did not have that. The Jesus Sanchez rookie in the 71 cards. There's Nolan Ryan and Shane Bieber. That's Angels and Indians. So unless we hit another one of these, we'll do a that'll fall into the uh, two-player card random later. Uh, Bryce Harper. Yeah, it is. Luckily, Joe, this year they uh, they were nice enough to people who are going through these to flip the variations. Last year they did not do it, and you had to like go through all the backs of the cards, and this break would probably take twice as long. There's Cabrian Hayes and Jose Garcia. And like I said at the beginning, there are sh uh, high number short prints that I'm not going through now, but I will, when I sort, I will find them and sleeve them. Um, that's number 401 to 500 in the set. Those, those only come one every three packs or so. Here's Yankee Rookies. So if you get a package from me and you see sleeved cards and you wonder why, why is this sleeved, usually that's the reason. It's because it's a high number short print. They're a little bit more rare. Bieber in action, Tatis. Last little stack here. There's our Luis Garcia rookie. McCutcheon in action. There's a Luke Voigt New Age Performers for the Yankees. All right, looks like our hit once again will be in the last stack. Last stack. We've got uh, Contreras and Stevenson rookies. Blue Jays rookies, Pearson and Hatch. Astros rookies, Pache rookie, this will be top loaded in action. On Soto in action, we've got Mount Castle and Delbeck, I believe that's the second one of those. Bo Bichette. Here's the eight player card I was talking about.
We've got 72 flashbacks of Joe Morgan. The Reds. Evan White, rookie, the Mariners. And we got a relic. Dodgers, Will Smith. Nice young player, catcher for them. Game used memorabilia. Congrats to the Dodgers. The Dodgers are going to Larry. Larry, I saw you on here before. Nice hit, Larry. There's our second hit, Will Smith. Joey Bart, rookie. There's Martin Maldonado. Uh, Miller and Lambert, rookies. Chicago and Chicago. Carlson and White. You got it, Larry. Nice hit. Sixto Sanchez. And that does it for box two. Okay. Halfway through, guys. Box three. Sized top loader. This one's going to the Brew Crew. Christian Yelich. Brewers are going to Joe. There you go, Joe. A couple of good players on those top loaders so far. Yelich and Bichette. Box is empty. Nice, nice one. A couple of people were down on Yelich, but you know, after last year, he struggled in the very short season. But I don't know how you, you know, guy's a superstar. I don't know how you can judge anyone on sixty games. I can rake. All right, here we go. Box three. Starting off with um, Mateo and Oliveras rookies. Yeah. Got Yankee rookies, Floreal and Schmidt. There's Laddie. There's an Alec Bohm. Tigers rookies, a flashbacks of that looks like Frank Howard on the um, Rangers. Is that Frank Howard? Who is that? I 
I think that's Frank Howard. Yes, Frank Howard. It's on the top of the card. I don't know why I didn't look there. Sorry. So that's a Rangers card. Let's keep going. Cronenworth rookie. We've got Garcia, Anderson, and Javier. There's Whitley and Ramirez, cards, rookies. Last little bunch here. Will Smith, who we just had the relic of, up in. Mente insert. All right, stack one in the books. funny because I'm pretty sure that's the first time I saw that Frank Howard card and i had done a whole case already so it is possible you don't see a card I mean it is an insert but it's still possible you don't see a card and well, probably not a base card a card in the whole case and I'm sure you guys have heard about the Kevin Biggio card in this right anyone well I'll go through these cards and if you guys don't know I'll let you know here we go Brousseau start off with Brousseau oh really Doubled and tripled up. That's nice. Um, Cabrian Hayes and Jose Garcia. So do you guys, as um, Yankees rookies, have you guys heard about the uh, Kevin Biggio card in this? Carlson and Evan White. Atari releases Pong, flashbacks, non-player card. Sixto Sanchez in action. Okay, so Joe, I'll let you know that Craig Biggio, uh, Craig Biggio, the Kevin Biggio is on the checklist. He has a card number in this. However, the only Kevin Biggio cards you will find, there's Bohm and Howard, will be you know parallels either purple hot box card or you know any type of parallel that's the only card you'll find because tops were got to put in his common cards so any complete set of this base set will not include Kevin Biggio even though he's on the checklist top said that uh, they will include Kevin Biggio in the heritage high number set There's Luis Garcia, rookie. Tigers, Mize, and Scooble. <laughs> and there's a Mount Castle in action. Oh, usually there's a uh, 
parallel at least in the second stack i haven't seen one yet there's allow new age performers hopefully that means we're getting a really nice hit in the third stack because unless i missed it up oh, there it is i spoke too soon um we've got a action variation for the angels the angels are going to michael and it's this guy you may have heard of him nice action variation there of mike trout going to michael and the angels so a couple nice action variations so far first we had the um harper and now the trout there's Manea and Dominic Smith. I spoke too soon. It was all the way at the end there. All right, last stack with our hit from this box. see if I see a relic here because I didn't see it off the top nope guys I think we have our second auto box so nice box choices guys here we go Jesus Sanchez in action, rookie. Then and now with Perry and Bieber, both Indians. Ruiz and White, Dodgers rookies. Evan White rookie. Keep going here with the eighth player card. And there's our auto. This one's going to the Nationals. Another nice rookie auto of Luis Garcia. Nationals are going to Michael. Michael hitting both autos. Not too shabby. There you go, Luis Garcia. On card. keep going here like I said the last case only had three autos so hitting two autos in one break is pretty sweet and I think we have a nice chrome coming too so let's see what that is um, Astros rookies you got it Michael Blue Jays rookies Spot. And let's bleed this because I think this is, is there one more card. Yeah, there's one more card here. We've got Adele and Madrigal, and behind that I think we have a red chrome. So not sure what that's number two, but we'll find out. Let's see who it's going to first. It's going to the Nationals again, Michael. Max Scherzer red chrome and that is numbered to 372 
We didn't hit any of those in the first case. 294 of 372. Max Scherzer red. Get a bunch of black borders, which are, I believe, paper, which I believe are numbered to 50. But this is the first red chrome that I've seen. 372. So a double nationals hit in that stack there. And you got it. And let's see, let's finish this off. Uh, Mount Castle and Dalbeck. We've got uh, Marlins rookies. And that's it for, oh, I keep doing that. That's it for box three. There we go. That's more like it. On to the final box. Just one, while I open the one, last box, just one final commercial. If you like this product, maybe didn't get the team you wanted tonight, Tuesday night is going to be another break. We'll see if this is the hot box. If it's not, maybe that one has the hot box. And this team, the Cubs, with this top loader here, with Wilson Contreras, this team will be random. So... Make sure to get in on that one. And then Thursday night is my last Heritage break. Thursday night. And Thursday night, the Cincinnati Reds will be the random team. So make sure you guys check those out on eBay and make sure to get into those breaks. Also, please, if you didn't and you're new to my channel and you haven't yet, please subscribe. In the near future, I'm going to be starting breaks just by streaming, so you won't know I'm online unless you subscribe. So please subscribe to the YouTube if you haven't yet. Just hit that uh, subscribe button. And also, if you're on Twitter and you follow Twitter, um, I regularly am on Twitter. My um, account there is at Breaks Lightning. The words are reversed. It's not Lightning Breaks, it's at Breaks Lightning. So sometimes... Uh, I have started breaks there in the past, and I want you know I hope to keep doing that and hopefully filling breaks there because you know I would rather not fill breaks on eBay. I would rather not them take a chunk of of my change, and also it gives you guys the chance of not having to bid up against people. So my future plans are to start some breaks there also, but you won't know they're there unless you're following me on Twitter or you're subscribed to the YouTube. So. Please make sure to do that. I appreciate your support as always, and let's draw some fire here in this last box. Good luck. Okay, Alberto. Brady Singer, rookie. Luis Garcia, whose auto we got, rookie. He's a Sanchez rookie. Flashbacks of Willie Mays, we hit that one before. The Mets. There's a Mike Trout in action. Mateo and Oliveris rookies.
Yankees rookies, Florial and Schmidt. I believe this is the second one of these we've hit also. Nice for the Orioles, New Age Performers of Mountcastle rookie. Okay, that does it for the first stack. Guys, what that means also is that we did not hit the hot box tonight. So just to finish my commercial, make sure you get in on those. Now there's a one in two chance, each one of those breaks of hitting the hot box. Your percentages are better now. Joey Bart rookie. There's Mr. Otani. Um, all right, so this is, what does that say? Sorry, I'm trying to read the variation here. It's really small. Guys, just it, it's trout, but I'm just trying to see what the variation is. It says error. Okay, I'm not sure what the error is, but it says error. Oh, okay. This is a error variation of Mike Trout. And I guess the error is, is that there's no name. Angels are going to Michael. So we had the action variation and now an error variation. First I've seen of those. We didn't have any of those in the first case. Interesting. Yeah, the, it, the, the letters on the back are so, just so you guys can see that I'm not like, that's how small the letters are. And that little corner up there where it says error so that's why it takes me a little bit of a strain to see what it's saying you got it Michael Sixto Sanchez rookie Pache rookie, Braves, and Bowman Howard, Phillies, yeah I mean I could look on the box of the packs to see how rare that is on, but we didn't get any in the first case, so I guess it's rarer, uh, Blue Jays rookies, There's another flashbacks, non-player card. 
Evan White rookie, uh, Adele and Madrigal, All right, last stack, last hit. Checking again here, we do have a relic. So we'll have two autos and two relics in this one. But we start off with a nice Mount Castle and Dalbeck rookie. Marlins rookies. Casey Mize. I think it's the first one of him we've seen. Rookie. There's another Luke Voigt, New Age Performers. I believe we saw one of those before. Tatis. Rockies rookies, Pearson in action, Marlins rookies, there's Cabrian Hayes, and behind that Joe Adele, some nice rookie in action in this last stack here. McMahon, who's, I believe, has five homers already in this young season. And the last little stack here, including our relic. Then and now of Ryan and Bieber. So we did end up hitting two of those. So the Angels and Indians will each get one. We've got Royals rookies. There's a nice Dylan Carlson in action for the cards. And Yankees, Masahiro Tanaka, Relic, Yankees going to Nick, nice hit there Nick, on the Tanaka, he's gray, game used swatch and the last couple cards leaders and Heimer Candelario and that guys is the break all right I'll have a quick recap for you guys here in a moment of the Hits and the parallels. Rookies. Here we go. We had the Mike Trout error. The 
Nationals red to, I think it was 342. Yeah, 372. 294, 372. Chrome. Mike Trout in action. Anthony Rizzo color variation, name color variation. Kyle Hendricks to, I believe this is 572. 572, yes. For the Cubs. Phillies, Bryce Harper in action. We had the um, buyback for the Braves of Ralph Gar. And then our hits, Will Smith, Masahiro Tanaka, a auto of Luis Garcia, and an auto of Alec Bohm. All right, guys, that does it. Thank you very much. If you guys want to stick around and watch the randoms for the multiplayer cards and for the non-player cards, you're more than welcome to do so. I can't tell you that it's very exciting, but that's what we're going to be doing next at the end of the recording. So thank you all for joining once again. Um, please subscribe, please follow on Twitter, and check out my next two breaks, Tuesday and Thursday night, for the last eight boxes of Heritage. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Thank you to those of you that watched and participated, and definitely those of you that interacted. It always makes a break more fun. Um, and just give me one second. I need to get a my piece of paper here so I can mark down guess what all right here we go bring up the randomizer so first we're gonna do the non-player cards I already have everybody's name up here so we're just going to randomize this list three more times, and whoever comes up after time number three will get the non-player cards. Okay, here we go. One. Two. And three. Tyler M.U. So Tyler M.U., you will be getting the non-player cards. Okay, now we have two player cards, and these will be right and left. Okay, we're going to randomize this three times. One, two, three. Okay, so any extra beyond evenly divided two player cards will go to the player, team of the player on the left. Three player cards. Okay, we have right, center, left. we go on three one two three so any extra three player cards will be going to first the player on the left and then the player on the right and four player cards eight numbers one to eight going left to right top to bottom here we go one two three four five six seven eight three times one two and three and that's the order that that will go to those eight player cards. Six, five, four, one. 
All right, that does it. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Um, hope to do it again very soon. So um, make sure to check out Tuesday and Thursday night. These hopefully will be going out tomorrow. Um, and um, you should be getting the tracking and hopefully get them later this week. You got it, Joe. Thanks for joining. Michael, thanks again for joining. And, you know, congrats on hitting some of those nice cards. Tom, thanks for joining. Meredith, and I believe Larry's here too. And anybody else that uh, I missed, thanks again for joining. For those of you that are returning customers, like Jamie and a couple of others who are here, Ryan, as always, who's been in a bunch of my stuff, um, thanks for returning and your continued support. Um, and uh, Andrew, I forgot to miss you either. I saw you were on. So thanks again for everyone. And um, hope to see you guys again in a couple nights. All right. Take care. Stay safe. See you guys soon.